Hello everyone, Lightning here again, and we are back with another monthly review on the Steam Workshop for skins in CSGO. There are so many skins available on the workshop and just so many creators making all these skins for CSGO to provide in future cases for us, which is awesome and it also provides monetary gains for the creators as well. If you do find any of the skins to your liking from this video then please go support them and just vote for the skins that you like with the links I will provide in the comment section down below. Now let's go over 15 skins on the Steam Workshop. The first one is pretty much a meme since Doge is just rising in price day by day with its crypto and with the help of Elon Musk. We have the M4A4 Howling Doge created by Westpool and all I can say that is it would be a fantastic meme skin to be added into CSGO. The Doge and the Contraband Howl would fit together to be the perfect meme skin and it is also the color of the Doge as well so I think it's a pretty cool skin and while I was looking at this particular skin I thought it would be awesome to have like particular themes for cases and having a meme case would be pretty awesome in CSGO. The next skin we have up is the MP5 SD food chain created by Chip Oz and we do have the MP9 food chain added into CSGO very recently with the snake bite case so this one is a pretty huge contrast for that with the food chain since this one is a bit more muted in terms of what is shown on the skin itself and I do like how it is less crazy compared to the MP9 food chain and the colors really blend in and work well together with the reds and the purples. It's a very beautifully designed skin especially for the MP5 itself and if this were to be added I think this would be one of the best looking MP5 skins we would have in the game. Well there aren't that many MP5 skins to be frank but still it would be probably the best. For the next skin we have the PP Bison Jungle Roar created by I would believe to be Bogdan. I did check this on Google Translate so I'm not sure if it's correct but forgive me for that since I don't know Russian but Moving on with that, this Jungle Roar I think is a pretty standout skin for the PP Bison. I have never really seen anything like this and I think the design is just astounding. It's just awesome, it's breathtaking and it really works together with all the colors provided as well as the tiger itself. It's a beautiful piece of art and props to the creator for putting it on a PP Bison. Moving on to another SMG, we have it for the P90 and it's called the Resistance created by Bass Bay. It's really nice design, I love the snake itself and the fact that it has all sorts of different colors on the snake really makes it more stand out especially with the black contrast of the P90 itself and what's more unique is that the snake colors change as you inspect it. So that's super awesome, it's super cool. I guess it's pearlescent, I'm not too sure, but it probably is and that just makes the skin more interesting, more cooler and I would think that if it didn't have this pearlescent effect, it wouldn't look as good as it is. So having that really makes this P90 skin really stand out and look really good in game. For our next skin, we have the P250 Pyracantha created by Beta and there are a bunch of different random patterns for this skin so you won't really see so many of the same kinds which is really cool in my opinion. I do like it when skins have different patterns. It just makes some more sought after than others so that's really cool and although this one is more abstract and a bit more plain in terms of the design, I do like the colors of it itself and it just looks really bright in game especially when inspecting in the sunlight and it looks beautiful. For the Desert Eagle, we have the Cyber Shell created by Desti and this is another skin that reminds me of Valorant in the terms of how they design their skins with the artwork. It does give me Valorant vibes but I do think it looks really good on the Desert Eagle itself. I love the yellow highlights that surround the blue of the Desert Eagle and the yellow highlights just really make the Desert Eagle more fuller and just make it look more complete than if there weren't any yellow highlights. The blue and yellow really work well together. It's a very simple skin and sometimes just the simplicity just makes it more stand out and look more better than if there were more details. Next up we have the Glock 18 TJL created by Evan and I do get chromatic aberration vibes from this skin itself but overall it doesn't look too bad. I do particularly like it because it is relatively simple yet it does have like a cool design to it and I would say that it's better than most of the Glocks we already have in the game. And since the Glock is a smaller gun and a smaller pistol itself, having this simplistic design on it just makes it look good. Moving on, we have the AK-47 Death Phoenix version 2 created by Shin Chen and 
this is a really good looking design for the AK-47 and I love how the white death phoenix just contrasts so well with the black background of the AK itself and following up with that you have the orange highlights as well with the phoenix along with the yellow outlines at the front of the AK. It just looks so complete it really adds a lot of detail to this skin and I do think it looks amazing. I do wonder how it would look in game if like I want to see it personally since I wouldn't know if some parts would be blurry since I don't know that could happen like with the AK Legion of Anubis but overall the skin I think is an amazing one. Next up we have the MP9 Moonrise in the pearlescent effect created by MG Baz and I gotta say that having the pearlescent effect on this particular skin really looks good. I love how it looks and the Moonrise itself isn't a bad skin as it does have a bunch of different patterns with how the moon can be shown throughout the MP9 itself so that's cool as well. We desperately need more better MP9 skins in my opinion so I think the Moonrise would be a great addition for CSGO and it just looks really nice, really cool, especially with the pearlescent effect. The next skin up, we have the Mag7 Fishing by Chipaz again. And I have to say that the artwork and design choice for the Mag7 Fishing is just very beautiful. It's just so cool. I love this particular kind of artwork. It's like one of those simplistic animated art forms of like nature itself. And I have to say that it looks so cool on the Mag7. It's so simplistic yet so detailed and so colorful as well. I would love to see this in game even though it is still on the Mag7 itself. But hey, if you like it, go vote for it. We have the M4A4 carry created by Slevin and I did show this before I believe in one of my other workshop videos but this time this is the toxic edition so this skin is green now and I have to say that it is very unique since we don't really have too many green skins in particular and having it on this skin itself I think looks really nice it's really stand out so nothing really too bad about this in my opinion. Moving on, we have the USPS Trigger Discipline created by Moonfighter and we already have the Desert Eagle Moonfighter in the Snake Bite case, the most recent one as well. So having another one would be pretty cool in my opinion, especially on the USPS since I do think the Trigger Discipline is a pattern that suits more well on the smaller guns in the game. So putting it on a USPS itself, especially in this lighter blue form, really looks good. I would also say that if this were to be added, this would be another great addition to the cheaper USPS skins available in CSGO since I do believe it deserves to be like around a mil spec or restricted, nothing more, nothing less. And I think having cheaper USPS skins is desperately needed in the game since a lot of them are kind of expensive in my opinion. I know we already had so many M4A Winners skins recently. I just wanted to show this one, the M4A Winners Wanted, created by MG Baz just to see and just show just how cool and unique this skin actually is. There are so many unique easter eggs on this skin in particular and there are different patterns you can obtain as well so there aren't like too many of the same so you can try to get as many patterns as available. I also love the artwork as there are different terrorists from the different iterations of Counter-Strike so it is really cool to see that and this skin is a very bright one so I do love that. Moving on, we have the UMP45 Police to NYPD collection created by Apple Infinity and I do have to say that this is a very well detailed skin especially with how the NYCD, I don't know why it's a C but NYCD part of the UMP itself I think glows especially with the red and blue outline at the back of the UMP which I believe are to be the sirens since it's red and blue which are the siren colors. I think it would be pretty cool to see this since the police force is essentially just like the counter terrorist division in CSGO. So having these two correlations would be pretty cool. But last but not least, we have the MP9 Monkey King created by Lion and I do have to say that the design is awesome with how the monkey is just throwing a banana. I think that's awesome itself along with the color choices used on the MP9. It's so bright. I love how the colors just work super well together with the different forms of blue and green. I do believe that the color, the main color on the MP9 itself is like a mix between bluish and green, more so blue, but the colors just work so well together. I do love how it looks in particular and I will be pushing for more MP9 skins since we desperately need more of them 
and I don't understand why we don't have many good MP9 skins available in the game. But overall, I do think this MP9, the Monkey King in particular, would be a great addition for the MP9 skins available. But that is it for this workshop video for the month of May and I hope you guys enjoyed it. There are so many other skins available on the Steam Workshop as well and I've only shown 15 of them where there are still many more available to look at. So if you are interested, go check out the Steam Workshop and if you do like any of the skins, go vote for them since they will have a higher chance of being in CSGO if more people actually like them. The links to all the skins that I showcased will be in the comment section down below. So if you're interested in any of these skins I showed, then go vote for them with the links down below. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you did enjoy this video, a like and subscribe will be greatly appreciated as it does help the channel out a lot. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you who continue to watch my videos every day. Have a great day. I'm Lightning, signing out. Peace.